Hi everyone, it's Natasha here from Inspire and Drive and welcome to another Inspired Moment. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about why it's important to let go of some things and be able to delegate them to other people. It's funny because on a weekly basis, I often find that there are common trends that are coming up with the people that I'm meeting. And this week, everyone I spoke to was having the same dilemma about, I really need to get some help, and I've used VAs before, I've had bad experiences, but I really need some help, and I just don't know how to move forward. So one of the things I think you need to think about when you're thinking about getting help or hiring on help is, how it's going to free you up to do more and bigger things in your business. It really is a mindset shift uh, to hand over some of your work to somebody else. We can all suffer a little bit with the, um, the challenge of being a control freak, that no one can do it as well as we can, and that whole idea of it has to be perfect. In actual fact, by not delegating out some of the tasks that you're doing, it's really holding you back from growing bigger and playing a much bigger game with your business. And just to give you an example, a few of the things that I've been able to delegate in the last week or so was a video production and recording a video for the introduction on my new website that's coming out shortly. I outsourced the layout for a lead magnet. I'd written the content, but I'm really bad at doing layout and graphic design work, so I outsourced that. And I also outsourced and sought some help to help me with some of the technical implementation for my upcoming online program as well. All of these things I could have done myself and some of them I had actually tried to do myself but the amount of time that it would take me to do any of these tasks was hours and hours and hours and as it turned out um, all of the things that I've mentioned other experts in, the, in these areas were able to send me back fantastic quality and it really took about only an hour or two of my time instead of 12 hours of my time. So it's such a big savings in time and energy and at the end of the day none of these were very expensive options for me to get this help either. So I would just remind you in this video today to start thinking about what are some of the things that you could be outsourcing in your own business right now. What are those little things that you keep doing that are taking up so much time that have you staying up till 11 or 12 o'clock every night just to get them done? Think about them, start writing a list and see what you might be able to delegate. And I would love to hear from you in the comments below um, anything that you already have outsourced or maybe what's holding you back from outsourcing some of the things that you know that you should be. So leave me in a, a comment in the comment section below and I'd love to hear about that. And as always, if there's anything I can help you with to build or grow your business or help you overcome the mindset challenge that you might be having about outsourcing, then please feel free to contact me. You can reach me at natasha at inspireanddrive.com or you can follow me on Facebook at Inspire and Drive. And of course, if you like this video and you would like to hear more inspired moments, then feel free to subscribe to the channel as well. So that's it for this week. I hope there might be a few things that you can outsource and get them off your plate that will really free you up for some bigger pro projects. And until next time, have a great weekend and stay inspired. Bye for now.